G'day, I'm Jamie Maddox. Um, we're here at our place, Tumbalong, which is um, about 55 acres. Um, we're a couple of k's out of um, Basie. We've got a small section of Marari Creek, which runs into the Allen River. During the recent drought, we certainly noticed that our farm dams uh, weren't as reliable as, uh, as we thought, and we certainly looked uh, at that point um, or identified the need to um, uh, to be better prepared next time it came in dry and uh, and certainly having uh, some water infrastructure built into this farm makeover project was um, certainly really beneficial for us. Um, this um, small uh, project will allow us to um, um, expand opportunity to secure water in a number of other paddocks as well so it was certainly a, a real key incentive to to, um, to work with Hunter LLS to, um, to take on this project and um, this farm will certainly be much more prepared um, next time it comes in dry. We run a few beef cattle here on uh, our farm and uh, we get a lot of uh, enjoyment out of that. But um, one thing that we do um, really enjoy is seeing um, the farm improve over time uh, and we've certainly got some, um, you know, a lot of value out of uh, fencing off and planning, off, uh, planning out certain small sections of the farm. And it's been really um, remarkable the amount of wildlife and birds that um, we do notice. So we do have um, platypus in the creek, um, we do see um, brush-tailed fasca gales uh, regularly um, and we also have koalas um, very close um, and uh, which do venture onto the place at times and um, that has um, certainly encouraged us to um, continue to um, look to protect some of these um, small areas of our farm and, um, and, and plant um, trees where we can. So our initial project with our LLS uh, looked to fence off the, um, our creek uh, country which is about 150 metres of Marari Creek and that had been grazed right down to the waterline so um, we were keen to, um, to fence that off and, and uh, what we'd sort of learnt from that project was um, by fencing that off it didn't really affect the carrying capacity of the place at all but provided um, a lot of benefit with um, being able to move cattle really easily across um, a fenced laneway across a creek so it made that um, really easy to, um, to manage um, cattle movements. It provided an off-stream water source which allowed us to split a couple of paddocks up and have that water security. Um, but most of all it, it just improved the creek um, country out of sight with um, some vegetation being able to plant um, vegetation and have that fenced off from the cattle. Um, and it certainly um, has um, improved the water quality. Um, we have platypus um, down in that creek as well. Um, and it certainly brought a lot of birds um, back to that area. Um, it really improved the aesthetics out of sight um, in that. And so this farm makeover project was really trying to build on that um, and um, further uh, fence off some remnant vegetation, some melaleucas, um, which we've got a really good stand in another part of the farm. And so we were looking just to get some similar benefit by um, fencing off, restricting that, um, that cattle access, um, but also just securing some water by, um, by um, investing in that uh, infrastructure to allow us to have um, water security in really dry periods. One thing we'd also learnt with the other, uh, with our initial project is um, even though it's fenced off from the cattle most of the time, it, it provides a really good um, um, resource for us in dry times to crash graze and um, that's um, been really handy um, during the dry, just knowing you've got that bit of, um, bit of creek country fenced off and uh, being able to put them in there and, and really knock it down um, when you're looking for a bit of feed. So it's, um, it's, uh, even though it's a small area, it's certainly been um, really beneficial for the farm. So the farm makeover project is in a different part of the farm. It's in a, in a wet gully that's got some really good um, melaleuca paper bark stands um, and uh, we're looking to fence that off to um, uh, protect that a little bit more but um, most importantly we have a, a, um, a small population of koalas in the area. So we were really keen to, um, to incorporate some plantings of koala species. Um, just to um, just to hopefully encourage into the future some um, some opportunity for koalas to venture more frequently onto our place.